Google has just added some new conditional formatting options when using Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and show you what some of these are. We can go ahead and add some gradient conditional formatting rules, such as a low to a high end of a color, like a light to a dark color. We have some different style choices, like bolding, striking through, and italicizing text based on that conditional formatting and those rules. And then we have a different look for the conditional formatting editing pane. So what I have here is I've got some stock prices. So what I want to do is I want to see some of the highs and the lows of the month of March just to see what's going to happen with that stock that I own. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select some of this information. So I'm going to select this first row here. I'm going to hold my control button down and select the rest of my rows here of the open, high, low, and closing columns. And then I'm going to go up to my format. Underneath format, we're going to go onto our conditional formatting. You'll notice the new pane that pops out to the right side of our screen. You'll notice at the very top we have single color and we have color scale. Now the cool part that you are probably used to with conditional formatting before is just a single color. Any value that's higher or lower than X is going to be red and any value that's lower or higher than B is going to be uh, blue, whatever it may be. Now we can do this with a color scale so it's kind of like creating a heat map shall we say. So if we do this, I've already got my ranges selected here. I'm going to click on color scale. You'll notice that right off the bat, underneath where it says preview here, it's changed it to a gradient scale, those different values that I have here. Now I can go to the right side of my screen and I can click on minimum value or maximum value if I want to change how this is looked at. So underneath preview, let's look at our first box here. I can click underneath that and I can see the default that is selected which is this green to white. But you'll see some different options here of green to white to red, green to yellow to red, and I can select on these at any point in time and it will immediately update my values that I have here. And then I also have the option of making a custom view here. So if I click on this little pull down, you'll notice that underneath that pull down I have custom color scale. If I click on that, I can now come down here to the bottom and I can say a minimum value, number, percent, percentile. And let's say I want my value to be a number and we're going to go at, we'll just type in 500. And then I want my maximum value, number wise, to be 600. And I want to see the different colors that I have here from 500. And let me just change this number to 550. And we are going to go ahead and change this to whatever color that we want as well by clicking on the paint can icon. So now depending on what I want to see, so the low end, I probably want to be in a little bit darker color. So I want to go ahead and say, let's make this a dark yellow. I'm going to go to my middle and I want to say this is going to be a cyan color and then maybe I want this other one we will go to red. So I want to see my high values with red, my low colors with that gold. You'll notice that my chart immediately updates in the middle here. To the right side in our preview pane we have the preview of what that color gradient scale is going to be and then I can go ahead and click on done and it adds that color scale here. Now I could do another rule here if I would like to. I can select some different text. So for example right now I'm just looking at just my stock prices so I can see just by looking at this the beginning of the month my stock prices were pretty high going near the end of the month they started to fade down a little bit and ended on a low note. So that's one way that we can use this conditional rules and formatting. Now another way that I can do this if I just select away from this area here I can see my text in a little bit more bold with color there. But another way that I've got this is I've got, for example, my flights to San Diego in May. So I want to see when are the good times to fly. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my data. I'm going to add a new rule here. I'm going to go to single or to color scale here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this one that's already a default. And done. So now what I can see is I can see my best value is going to be in the dark green and then as the price gets higher it goes to more of the red zone. So I can look quickly and I can see that the middle of my month here or maybe the second and third week Tuesday Wednesday are probably those de best days to fly in the month of May. And once again if you go to any of these areas here
you'll see that you can modify any of this stuff really quickly on the fly if you'd like to do that. So let's go ahead and just exit out of that for a moment. And one more thing that I'd like to just show you is another way of doing some formatting here is I'm going to keep my text selected here from my flights. I'm going to go back up to my format menu and I'm going to go down to conditional formatting and I'm going to go to the cell is not empty one and this is just doing the single color thing but once I come to the screen I can go to color scale or single color but what I want to do is I want to select that same text and in this case I want to have anything that is greater than and I'm going to add my number here let's say anything that is greater than a hundred dollars I'm going to make that into the green but what I want to do is I want to strike through those items click on done and now any value that is greater than 100 in my chart here is going to be struck through. So now I can really see my data in terms of anything that is higher than $100. I don't want to pay for this ticket. Now I can see all of the days that are available that are not over $100. So once again, you have those different things that you can do with the style choices, with the bolding, striking through, italicizing, and so on, as well as those different gradient colors.